The following episode contains strong language, stitch-ups, ball aches, and nightmares. Yeah, I mean, location scouts, they're, uh, I suppose, they're one of the better muggle jobs on a set. They find our locations. The locations are kind of like the stage on which the actors perform and create magic, I suppose. That's probably the best way of putting it. Well, there's only two weeks till the crew roll into town and start shooting the film. We're up against it. No, can't afford that, mate. Budget's tighter than nuns nasty. Okay, how many of you will there be? Oh, it's only a small shoot, be six plus. Won't even know we're here. Robo Jesus, nice touch. They're just excellent. Oh yeah, work with me. Hey, isn't the crew like 45 people? Yeah. So that's not really a six plus, is it? Uh -huh. six plus 39. So they'll never know we're here? Well, they won't if they're not here. And they won't be here, because we'll politely ask them to piss off for the day. You're going to hell. Oh, uh, well, after six weeks of hanging out with you, at least I'll be used to it. Well, it's pretty obvious we're under the pump. That means no shitting, no talking, and eat while you're walking. By the way, we need some more coffee. I've been running out of coffee. Yeah, Steve's been showing me the ropes. There's actually a lot more to this location scanning thing than I'd originally anticipated. This is beautiful. Yeah. No toilets on premises, ball ache. Sound department's gonna hate that waterfall. Stitch up. Shit access for trucks. Nightmare. Hey Steve, mm -hmm. what's worse? A stitch up, a ball ache, or a nightmare? Stitch up is essentially any day-to-day -day complication. Come in the form of a task, obstacle, or a person. A ball ache is any dilemma that can cause deep physical or emotional pain. Then you've got a nightmare which is essentially a ball like stretched over several days and nights. I'm just saying that if you keep making everything negative, it makes it really hard to find a solution. Will you stop with all this hippy-dippy crap all the time? You're driving me nuts. Steve can be pretty gruff. Five grand? Mate, pull your head in. Deal's on the table. Take it or leave it. Nah, no chance. What's the matter, don't you? want to make a bit of dough on the side? Huh? No, no, can't be done, mate. You're kidding yourself. Hey, should we fill up while we're here? The tank's getting low. Well, you're kidding yourself as well. It's a troopy. Do 340 clicks on empty. Wait right in the car. <clears throat> this is worse than a stitch up ball ache and nightmare combined. It's a cluster fuck. Good one, Morgan. Well, it is what it is, mate. We need a location partner that's willing to compromise. Got a deal? No. You serious? Yeah. Last time? No. Ah, uh, poor you in, young puppet. Come on. If Steve were any grouchier, he'd live in an actual garbage can. Yeah, my dad always said that if everyone else seems like a dickhead, maybe it's me that's being the dickhead. Yeah, probably, I believe that. So in this case... I don't know, maybe it has something to do with... Your personality. What part of my personality? The gruff bit. That's well, the best bit. Yeah, well, it's not just a bit, it's the whole thing. God, you millennials, you're a bunch of butthurt snowflakes, you know that? I'm just saying that if maybe if you treat people with a bit more kindness, no. you might be surprised by what they could do for you. Oh, really? Why don't you let me speak to them? <laughs> All right, go yard. It's gone. Good luck to you. Off you go. This should be fantastic. It'll be hilarious. She's kidding herself. Cool. Thank you so much. Right. I'll see you soon. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. They agreed. Check it out. And they even offered us a free dinner and a cheeky beer. It was at that point I realised I had to fire Morgan. Uh, thanks for the meeting. It's right, Morgan. No problem. Just wanted to um, speak to you about the assistant. Morgan? Yeah, the burdensome one. Um, you know me, I'm a bit of a maverick yep. in the way I work. Mate, you're always complaining that you're under the pump and could do with some help. Now you're saying you don't need anyone? Well, she is a bit of a punish. Well, she's also my daughter. Morgan's your daughter. That's right. Hey, Dad. She's right. And there she is. Bye. Hello, sweet pea. How are you? Good, how are you? Really well, thanks. Really, really well. What are you guys talking about? Just stuff, life. She's telling me really good things about you on the job. 
Hey, got some really good words about you. <laughs> What's worse than a clusterfuck? 